So I have received a comment on a video yesterday. It reads in part, Dear TRZ, your face reminds me of an angel or what they should look like anyway. However, that being said, you were wrong when it comes to the best utility knife. What? It goes on to say, the Mawaka IA utility knife Fastback is not the best utility knife. However, the Irwin is. Well, let me just say this, number one. Yes, my face is of an angel. And number two, I doubt it very seriously that I'm wrong that the Milwaukee IA Fastback is the best utility knife you can buy. But you see, I'm a fair, fair man. I went out and done purchased this Irwine utility knife. We're gonna find out if this is the best utility knife that you can buy on the market today. <laughs> What's up everybody, my name is Clint. Welcome to the Tool Reviews on channel. Now I had done mention in many of the videos that the Milwaukee IA Fastback knives, utility knives are probably the best on the market today that you can buy. And they have a bunch of different variations that are easy to use. You got blade stores and some even come with screwdrivers. This one right here, I have done beat the heck out of. I use it all the time. I got drywall mud in this thing. I've dropped it, crushed it, ran it over, and it still works as good as the day I bought it. That's real nice, like. However, this letter right here is calling me out. And well, they're saying this one right here from Irvine is the best utility knife that you can buy. So that's what we're gonna look at today. What features does this have compared to the Milwaukee IA Fastback? By the way, the letter was signed Vance from Vegan Cookies Good Construction. I don't know. All right, so as mentioned, the Milwaukee IA Fastback has been awesome. And usually you can get two of these things on sale for around $14 around the holiday seasons. You got wire strippers on top. You got the blade storages underneath right here. Let me pull that out for you. And what I really like about the Fastback is, well, it's a very straight shaft. I'll oh, stop it. I'm really comfortable with this. It got a nice little curve up on top. You got your pointer finger right there. You can put it in there and well, you can slice and dice. You can cut and do whatever you need to do. Now, a lot of people have been concerned about this right here. This is the release and you push this button right there and your blade comes out and everybody's like, well, if you put it in your pocket and you accidentally hit this blade and releases and you're gonna have trouble I've never had that issue and I've had them in all kind of pockets. Never once have I ever had a fault. They are just amazing, amazing utility knives. But let's take a look at this Irvine. Right here is the Irvine. Now compared to the first gen Milwaukee IA Fastback, it's about as thick. Also has a really nice build quality to it. It's like a very heavy, dense, I don't want to say plastic, but it almost feels like metal. I don't know. Magnet? Nope, not metal. But neither is the fastback. However, it also has the release function as the fastback. It's basically the exact same thing. You push that button right here, and well, that releases. I like that. Got a smooth motion to it. Yeah, it's real nice, like. But here's one of the differences. So I'll open up that Milwaukee IA fastback right here. I open up the Irvine right here, and you can see there is a difference when it comes to the curve. Now the Milwaukee IA is definitely a straighter cut, which I sort of like just because I'm used to it. And the Irvine has, well, like a boomerang type of feel to it. See that? So I can put my hand right down, put my thumb right up on it like that, and it gives you, I think, more of a secure grip, a lot of people would say. Or how I would use it is sometimes I put my finger up here, and then just kind of throw my middle finger right there. And if I'm cutting something this way, like if I'm cutting drywall, it feels pretty good. It just does not feel as good as the Milwaukee IA. That's just my opinion though. Some people might like this. I will say, however, the Irwin does seem to have, because I have a little bit more control like this, does seem to have a better cut or a more accurate cut when I am going down the drywall if I'm just trying to trace the line. So definitely a little bit of a different build. Depends on really which one you like, actually. Now, we had done mention on the Milwaukee IA, you have that release that a lot of people get nervous about, but the Irvine has one right here, but it's a little bit different. So with that blade out, you're not going to be able to take this blade and pull it out. You gotta collapse this a little bit, and you can see right there, there's some yellowage, and I'm gonna push that in, and I'm just gonna take that blade and pop it out. So it's a flat, secured, type of release and then you just push it again and you put your blade in but I'm not going to be able to do that if I have it in my pocket you see because it protects that so I do like that function where you're able to feel a little bit safer in the pocket you're not going to be able to accidentally push this you have to extend it out 
halfway, then push that release, and then take your blade out. So me likes. Now there is one more thing I will say about the Irvine that is better than the Milwaukee IA. Check this out. So you look around, you look around, you think to yourself, where's that sweet, sweet blade storage? Oh, there it is. Pretty simple to get to. I'm just gonna take this, I'm just gonna pop it up. I'm gonna do it, I can do it with my thumb, I can do it with my finger, whatever, but check that out. And there's my blade storage. But not only can you store one blade in this thing, you can store like up to five. There's three right there. You put them in and I got a little clip that holds them into place and then you close it back up again. And that is real nice. Look at it. That's really cool because they're not coming up. Oh, now I will also say that when opening this, and this is another concern that some people have is pushing this button here and opening it again. I've never had that issue. This right here, you have to push down a little bit harder to get that blade to release, and it will. And then right here, this sticks out a little bit more. It's a little bit easier to release that blade, so you just push down, and that'll open up. Again, I've never had an issue with these things opening up in my pocket, ever. You really got to push down like that for it to do that. However, this seems to be a little bit easier to do, so that might be a plus for you or a negative for you. I will also say on the newer Fastbacks, they have added this little guard right here to prevent this button from being pushed. You really got to get up underneath and do it. So that's a plus right there. All right, so how do I feel about the Irvine and the Milwaukee IA? Well, I'm going to be honest with you. I'm still going with the Milwaukee IA, and I'll tell you why. It only comes down to one thing, or I would have given it to the Irvine. I like this feel better in my hands. I like that straighter shaft. Shosh. I'm just used to using it more. This is just what I'm more comfortable with because I use these all the time. However, some of you may like this more rounded overlook where you got more of that boomerang and you're able to lay your hand over there and there's no gap. This is really up to you. I'm gonna tell you what, I've been using this uh, for the last few days here just to get the feel for it, even though I still think the Milwaukee IA is more comfortable. And again, some of them come with screwdrivers, there's different variations. This is probably the second best utility knife I've ever used. This is a fantastic utility knife and I could not be happier with the purchase on this tool. What really sets this thing apart for me is the five blades. The Milwaukee IAs, you're only able to get in one, maybe two on some of the older gens. Five blades you can put in this thing and you still have a little bit more room. I love this knife. So if you're looking to pick up a utility knife, I will leave a link in the description below for you to check this out. And I'll also leave the Milwaukee IA Fastbacks, but really it's gonna come down to, you know, which way is more comfortable for you. If you want that little bit more of an arc right there, I think you're gonna like that. And if you want it to be a little bit lighter on some of the new stuff here and a little bit thinner, you can definitely see the Milwaukee IAs, the newer versions, definitely thinner. It's really up to you, but either or, you're gonna be happy with both of them. And uh, I wanna know what you think. Leave me a comment in the comment section below. Which one do you like better, the Irwine or the Milwaukee IA? I love hearing that sweet, sweet feedback. And also, if this video has helped you in any sort of way, please do not forget to sneeze that like button. Appreciate it. I always appreciate you stopping by with that. We'll be back with more videos soon.